Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to do um, some more advanced stuff with the expose filters that we showed before. Um, in the past couple of tutorials, uh, a few tutorials ago, I showed you how to use these exposed filters that allow you to um, filter out um, your different pieces of content and views. Um, so I have this one here. Here's all my projects, and let's say I just want to see development. We can click apply, and here they are. Here's all the development ones I have uploaded here. Okay, let's go back to any, we'll click apply, and okay, we're back to all of them. Okay, so it's pretty cool, um, but it's, you know, it's not the, it's not necessarily the nicest system. You have to select and then click apply. We can do this all sorts of ways. Um, that is, if we're using this better exposed filters module, and this certainly allows for better exposed filters. So I'm going to click um, downloads, get the latest version of it, throw it in my modules, just like always. And, uh, okay, we'll just drag this over here, modules, okay, it's in, cool. All right, let's go to our modules page, refresh this, and search for it. Better exposed filters, okay, we're just going to enable this. And now let's go to our view, and let's edit that view that we're on here. I'm just going to click this, edit view. And so some of the things that this allows you to do, it allows you to uh, change the style. So right now we have it as a select list and our, uh, our options were limited before it was a autofill or select list. Um, but what if you wanted something like links or you wanted check boxes, this sort of allows you to do that. So under the advanced tab here, you'll notice this exposed form settings, exposed form style is set to basic and settings here. We'll click this basic and we're going to select this to be better exposed filters. Okay, and now these are the settings for better exposed filters. You can change the text on the submit button if you'd like. Um, you can include a reset button. You can uh, expose sorts label, ascending, descending. Okay, cool. But the thing I want most is I want it to auto submit. And uh, this is a great feature. If you check this box here, it hides the submit button. And anytime you make a selection, it automatically will filter these for you so you don't have to click apply. So that's really nice. I'll check this one. And now if we come down here, uh, here's your exposed filter settings. Um, if these are our, uh, our categories exposed list, if you had uh, multiple exposed filters per view, you would have more of these down here. Um, they would just be underneath each other here. But since we just have this one for categories, um, this is it. So let's check this. And as you can see, there are different options here. You can have it be checkboxes, nested checkboxes, uh, radio buttons, links, and hidden. Let's do uh, checkboxes and we'll click apply to all displays. We'll save this and we'll check this out. So now we have these uh, checkboxes here, the radio buttons, I think, because uh, uh, we have it selected to only allow one filter at a time. If we would say, hey, you can do multiple filters, um, these would be checkboxes. And I'll show you that in a second. But right now, as you can see, whenever I check a new one, it's automatically loading in this new content for us. It's Ajaxing it in here. Super cool. Okay. Cool. Well, let's let's change these to checkboxes. We'll edit the view. And then under our exposed filter settings, um, sorry, project type exposed, um, allow multiple selections, apply save and now we should see checkboxes here so now it's giving us the option of which one do we want um, I want to see animation and tutorials okay here they are cool well let's actually do one more we'll go to edit view and we're gonna have this be just the links because I actually like that setting um, then you can do some cool stuff and you could style it up I'm gonna select links here and click apply we'll save this and you'll see it's just text links here. If we click animation, it's animation, development, development. And uh, because we have multiple selected, you can see that they're um, just adding here. Uh, we would want that reset button if, if we have this multiple selections. So let's turn off the multiple selections for now. And I want it to just be so they can see one thing. I don't necessarily need them to be able to have that much control over it. Okay, so let's select animation here. Okay, here's our animation. Click tutorials, development. As you can see, it's it's only allowing one at a time. So here we have 
um, filtering, you can have a lot more control over how you're filtering, and we can then further style these and do anything we want with them. Uh, I actually like this a lot better than the select list, clicking apply. It's a lot less tedious for the users and um, allows you to have a little bit more um, unique layouts or just unique um, interactions with the, the visitors on your site. Okay, well, that's how you use better exposed filters to really um, get some great functionality out of your exposed filters and views. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, uh, hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts or just leave a comment below on the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.